Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in today's guitar lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Kerry Eurodyne's Yacht Song from Cyberpunk 2077. It's a cool little guitar uh, piece to play. Just before I do that, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out and giving me a like on the video and the more comments the better. Let me know what songs you want to learn, what you think of the video, where you're from. Uh, and if you want to support me and you want to print these tabs off, I'll put them on my Patreon account. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. My guitar's in standard tuning. We've got quite a lot to get through. Um, let's do it line by line. The first line sounds like this. <laughs> So for that, we're holding down A2 and a D4 at the same time. And you play those both at the same time. A little percussive, you just hit against the strings with your hand. So you've got... And then play A2, D4. And then you could either use your little finger on G4 or your third finger flat. So we've got the first bar. And then into bar two, we're going to hold down E2 and A, uh, sorry, and D2. So those E2 and D2 at the same time. And you're going to play those both strings at the same time twice. And then play the E string on its own, and then the D string, and then to D4. So this bar number two goes. So bars one and two together, we've got. And then into bar five, I'm using my second finger on E3, third finger on D4, play them at the same time, and then two D4s on their own, use your little finger on D5, or you could just slide your finger across, doesn't matter, back to D4, and then D2 twice. So bar three, So that's what I use my second finger on the top, so I can use my first finger on the D2. Then open E in bar four. Um, don't play any notes in the bracket, they're just held on. Um, then you play open D. A fast little hammer on. You play the D string and just slap your finger onto fret two. So you don't hear the open, like it's really quick. Like, and then finish off with the open string. So bar four. Remember to ignore that note in the bracket you got. So the whole of the first line goes. Bit faster. Okay, now the next line is almost the same. So the first three bars are the same, but the last bar is just slightly different. We've got open E, and then open D, and then G2, and then D2. So that's the only slight change. So let's just play that line slowly. So that's the second line. The third line, again, is almost the same. The first three bars are the same. And bar four, we've got open E, and then open D, hammer onto D2, and then an A2. So bar four of that line, which is bar 12, goes. So let's try the whole of that line slowly. And then the, the next line, the fourth line, um, which is like the end of this sort of section before it does the strumming of the chords, uh, it starts the same. Uh, in the next bar, we don't do it twice, we just hit it once. And then a little percussive note, uh, just hitting your hands across the strings and then play the E2 and D2. So bar 14 is. And then it plays A, uh, sorry, E3 and D2 at the same time, and then an open D, so in bar 15. So that line slowly goes. And up speed. So let's put the 
first four lines together because that's like they all kind of go together. Here it comes. And then it goes to this strumming part which goes So for that we need to get like this uh, B5 chord or a B minor chord First finger A2 Third finger on D4 Little finger on G4 A little down up on that And then we need to hit your first finger is going to touch the E string on the second fret So we're going to hit that and then on the next beat, we're going to put our second finger on B3. So you've got... And then you just hit the B, the G and the D strings another two times. So you've got the first bar. Don't have your second finger down um, until uh, it goes on to the B string. So you've got... And then we're going to play your first into the bar 18. First finger barred across all the strings on the second fret. Third finger A4. Hit the top two or three strings twice. Then the E string. And then to the B5. So you're going to have your little finger on B5. And then two hits on the top two strings. So you've got. So bars 17 and 18 together go. And then into bar 19, hold down fret 3 on the E string. And we're going to hit down. Make sure your finger touches the A string so you don't hear that A string. So you're going to hit that and then put your first finger on fret 2 of the E string. Uh, hit that three times. And then take the finger off. And then your third finger on B3 on that last hit. And again, just sort of strumming the more than one string on that so and then bar 20 we've got an E minor chord put your first finger on D, uh, A2 second finger on D2 you're going to hit that and then play the D, G and the B strings twice then add a finger to B3 hit that twice then hit just the bottom four strings and then add a finger to E2 on that last hit so you've got So the whole line slowly goes. Uh, a bit faster. Now the next um, line, the first two bars are the same. And then bar 23, we put our finger on E3, and hit down all the strings, and then E2 three times. Doesn't matter if, if you hit like the B string and the G string as well. Uh, and then we're going to go up to fret 5 on the E string, and then a quick fast hammer on from open E to E1. So we've got. And then go to an E minor chord, first finger and second finger on A2 and D2. Hit that chord and then play E, B3, E, B3, E, E2. So bar 24. So the whole line goes. And then the next line is almost the same as the line two lines previous to it. So you got. It's just the last bar that's different. We've got E minor. And then we're playing the D, G, and the B strings twice. 
B3, uh, adding your little finger on B3, still playing the D, G and the B strings, and then take the little finger off um, for the last hit. So that bar 28 goes. So the whole line will be. And then this next line starts the same. A uh, slight change uh, on bar 30, we're going, it starts the same, hitting that F sharp minor 7 chord, first finger barred across, uh, second fret, third finger on A4, hit that twice, then to the E string on fret 2, and then fret 5 on the B string, we do da da da, so, and then the next bar, bar 31, Play the E string and E2 nearest to the floor, and then to E5. And then we're going to slide from 5 to 7 on the E string. And then a really quick slide from 7 down to 5 on the B string. So that line goes... And then the last line... There I go... So for that we're playing A2 and B5 at the same time, then B3 and then G4, and then play G4 another two times, so got and then we're going to play E2 and B3 at the same time, and then G4, little percussive hit, then E2, G4, and B3, so bar 34 goes, put those first two bars of that line together, got, and then into the next bar, E3, and open E, so E3 nearest your face, and open E nearest the floor, then E, B3, E, B3, E, E2, open E, and then open B string to finish. So the last line there goes. And that is pretty much the whole song. Um, there is a slight variation. It kind of repeats back to the beginning and does a slight variation, but it's basically the same idea. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well. Uh, and leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know where in the world you're from and any songs you want to learn. Uh, what else? Oh, I've got a Patreon account. So if you want to print these tabs off, I'll put them on the Patreon account. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. All the proceeds just help me do these videos, supports me, keeps me doing these. Thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.